Have you ever wondered how to make sense of the returns on your investments? Today, we're diving deep into AP, the key to understanding the true power of your investments. Whether you're managing your savings account or strategizing your retirement, knowing how to calculate AP is a game changer. In this video, we'll break it down step by step, making it easy for you to determine the growth potential of your investments. Get ready to unlock the secrets of financial growth and make your money work harder for you. Stay tuned to master the art of AP calculation. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our financial insights. AP, or annual percentage yield, is a measure of the annualized interest or return on an investment or deposit account, taking into account compound interest. Here's how AP is calculated. The formula for AP. AP equals 1 plus R N carat N1, where AP is the annual percentage yield. R is the nominal interest rate, expressed as a decimal. N is the number of times that interest is compounded per year. Steps to calculate AP. Convert the nominal interest rate, R, to a decimal if it's not already in that form. For example, if the nominal interest rate is 5%, you would convert it to 0.05. Determine the number of times interest is compounded per year, N. Common compounding frequencies include annually, N equals 1, semi-annually, N equals 2, quarterly, N equals 4, and monthly, N equals 12. Use the formula to calculate the AP. For instance, if the nominal interest rate is 0.055%, and interest is compounded quarterly, N equals 4. AP equals 1 plus 0.054, carat 4 1. AP equals 1 plus 0.0125, carat 4 1. AP equals 1.0125, carat 4 1. AP approximately equals 0.050945 or 5.09%. So, in this example, the annual percentage yield, APY, is approximately 5.09%. This means that if you invest or deposit money at this rate, with quarterly compounding, you will earn a total return of about 5.09% over the course of a year. Keep in mind that the AP provides a more accurate representation of the actual earnings from compound interest so it's essential to consider it when evaluating investment or savings options. The higher the compounding frequency and the nominal interest rate, the higher the AP will be. FAQ section. What is AP, and why is it important? AP, or annual percentage yield, is a measure of the annualized interest or return on an investment or savings account, accounting for compound interest. It's important because it provides a more accurate picture of the actual earnings on your investment compared to a simple interest rate. How is AP different from the nominal interest rate? The nominal interest rate is the stated annual interest rate without considering compounding, while AP reflects the actual interest earned, accounting for compounding frequency. AP is typically higher than the nominal rate. How do I calculate AP for an investment or savings account? You can calculate AP using the formula. AP equals 1 plus R N carat N1, where R is the nominal interest rate, in decimal form, and n is the number of times interest is compounded per year. What is compounding, and why does it matter for AP? Compounding refers to the process of earning interest on both the initial principal and previously earned interest. It matters for AP because it can significantly boost the overall return on your investment, especially when interest is compounded frequently. Can you provide an example of AP calculation? Sure. Let's say you have a savings account with a 4% nominal interest rate, compounded quarterly, n equals 4. To calculate the APY, you would use the formula. AP equals 1 plus 0.044, carat 41. The resulting AP would be approximately 4.06%. How can I compare different investment options using AP? Comparing investment options using AP allows you to make informed decisions. Simply compare the APYs of different options to see which one offers the highest annualized return on your investment. Is AP the same as April, annual percentage rate? No, AP and April are different. AP considers compounding, while April does not. April is typically used for loans and credit cards to represent the cost of borrowing. What factors can affect the AP on my savings or investment? Several factors can affect AP, including the nominal interest rate, compounding frequency, fees, and any changes in the interest rate over time. 
Can AP be negative? No, AP cannot be negative. It represents a positive percentage that reflects your earnings on an investment or savings account. Is AP guaranteed for the entire investment period? AP is based on the current conditions, including the nominal interest rate and compounding frequency. If these conditions change during the investment period, the actual AP you earn may differ from the initial calculation. We hope you found this video valuable in your quest for financial empowerment. If you have any questions or want to dive deeper into any financial topics, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Your feedback is incredibly important to us. Once again, thank you for being part of our financial community. Until next time, keep growing your wealth and achieving your financial goals. Bye.